Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and comment. Make sure you really hit that like button. Go ahead and drop a sub. As you saw by the title of the video today, we're going to watch. Well, I'm going to tell y'all ways on how to build your credit. The ways I did. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to drop two. I'm going to drop a couple of gems on you. A couple of gems on you. You feel me? Because, you know, credit is the way of life. Believe it or not, money mean nothing. Credit mean everything. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. You heard me? Put the head up on the wall. Let's get into it. All right, this is for beginners. This is a disclaimer. This is for all beginners. So that means like you fresh out of high school or anything. You just just now. You know, you done went through some things or you done did some things. You might have to go to another video, but that's okay. Can you like this video for me? Give you a disclaimer so you didn't have to waste 15, 20 minutes of your time. I don't know how long this video going to be, but you get the point. You get the gist. You get where I'm going with this. You already know. Step one. Step one for a beginner. You need to get you a secured credit card. Now you probably asking what's a secured, secured credit card. A secured credit card is when you put a down deposit. Like you put money down for you to get the credit card. So I had got a secured credit card with Capital One. It was for $200. So I had to put $200 of my money up to get that credit card. Because you know they look at you as a risk. Because you know you got nothing. You're a beginner. Now, you want to pay that for probably six months on time. Now, you're probably saying, what I need to use it for. Now, you need to keep it under a certain use. Like, so what I did was, I got my subscriptions on my credit card. So, stuff you know you can pay. You feel me? So, like, I had Netflix coming out. I had Hulu coming out. That's like, you know, Netflix that went up. So, that was like 17 then Hulu, I had the basic Hulu, so that was like six ninety nine. So they're like that was a total of forty dollars. You don't want to go like over five percent of your credit limit. If you do go five percent, the trick to that is you need to pay it before that statement come before like the balance is due. So what I did was I had that set up. I paid it for about three to six months. You know what I'm saying? You you just keep you keep paying. You pay that for like six months basically. Then you need to comply for a new credit card or you can ask for a higher credit limit. Now, what's another one? Something I can tell you. Now what I did, I applied for another credit card. And once I got my credit score to like a certain point, when I prayed for a new credit card, my limit was way higher than that 200. I ain't had to put no money down. Like it was a big significant difference. But when you are building your credit, it, you have to invest in the app. Capital One is cool and all, but like when you get up there, with like your credit is like still worthy, because like you know when you get up there in like the seven thirties, forties, like really a little bit lower, like seven twenty, people are gonna try to take your stuff. And to me, the number one app you can use is Experience. It's twenty dollars a month. Now you know you know ain't nothing free. Don't, don't, be, don't be looking at me like that talking about, oh, I, I don't know about that. It ain't, uh, you got to pay for it. Ain't nothing free. At least pay for something that's going to help you out. You feel me? Talking to you. Talking to you right there. Stop being cheap. It's $20. Matter of fact, do what I did. Get your credit card. Have your credit card pay for the subscription. You know what I'm saying? Pay it down line. You feel me? That's the number one app. Another thing I want to tell you about credit is a lot of people tell you, I keep my bills paid, I keep my bills paid, that's how my credit's gonna go up. Credit is like a revolving debt, basically. So you you never wanna get debt where you're gonna have to eventually close out. Like, okay, your car payment, yeah, it's good, because you're gonna be paying for that for however long, three or four years. But eventually a close account on your credit is going to hurt you. It may not, it might, it might it's not trust and believe, it's gonna boost your points. Trust I did it before. I applied for a loan, you know, I paid a loan with the with me with me paying the loan, my car note, and me paying like my regular credit card statements. It, it go up. It was move it's moving up, moving up. But eventually, credit companies don't like to see any closed account, even though if it's on good standings. So like after you build up to a certain point or you build so far, you wanna apply for like a credit card with your bank. 
Because they already got a relationship with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want something that you're going to always have to, you know what I'm saying, keep reviving. Like, it always go up. Go up. You feel me? It ain't never going to stop. You feel me? So, like, you don't... It's okay to get a loan. It's okay to get a card note and have that report to your credit. Because it's most definitely going to move it up. Most certainly. But you ain't going to pay for that forever. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna. It's a time point. It's a time stamp to all of that. What's some more things I can tell you guys? You know, Capital One, Discovery, MasterCard, Navy Federal, them are like some top-notch credit card companies. I'm just giving y'all basically like the most gist, the rundown, basically the fundamentals to give you somewhere to start. I, I don't think you can always drop a comment and I'll tell you more if you need more. But get you a credit, get you a secure credit card if you're starting off. That means you got to put up your own money, get them 200 Nine times ten, you have to want to give you a secure credit card for two hundred. I had to put up two hundred of my own money. I had that for six months. I'd have been building my credit for y'all a while, y'all. I don't want to tell y'all what the number is. Y'all stay at my business, but you know what it's at? It's at a pretty good number right now. Not gonna cap to you. I feel mighty rich. I don't got a dollar. I got five today. I don't got a dollar to my name, but my credit make me feel like I got a dollar to my name. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, like, for real, though, get your security credit card. Pay that for six months. You should have no more than three credit three credit cards. Like, three, uh, no more than three credit cards. Three credit lines. Now, people talking about, well, you, got, you can have up to three. That's three. Three is fine. But, look, you can always, write, after six months, you can ask for an increase in the credit line. I don't think a lot of people get that. People think you got to apply for a new credit card to get a higher credit limit. No, you can ask for an increase, ladies and gentlemen. You can ask for an increase. So, I tell y'all, I tell y'all the credit limit. One of my credit limits for one of my cards is 3000 I've been paying that for about four or five months. I'm going to ask for a credit increase when I hit like that six to seven. I like, I like to wait for it real late, but if you're really in a rush, after six months, apply. But like, I wait like seven to eight. I'm asking for a new credit line. And they're going to increase it. Then your points, that's going to make your numbers go up. It's going to give you an inquiry for one. Because you know, and anytime you apply or anything, it gives you a heart. It gives you an inquiry. But it's also going to raise it because your credit available is going to skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? So like, you just want to keep up the things. But it's all about consistency and having a plan, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just be consistent with keeping, you got to pay them payments before the due date. I pay mine before the due date because you got the due date, then you got when the statement is getting ready, when they ask to pull the statement. So you need to make sure you got it paid before the due date and you need to have it paid before the statement. And I hear a lot of people tell you, oh, I pay all my bills with my credit card and this and that. Yeah, that works when you are already established. Nine times ten, if you're watching this, you're a beginner in credit. So... That's not going to be your route. The best route that you're going to have to do is get a secure credit card and move your way from there. And like I said, the bank is always a good place to get a credit card with because you already have a relationship with them guys. But they're not going to give it to you when you starting off because, you know, it's a risk. That's why I say you, step one, if starting off, get you a secure credit card. If you don't listen to nothing else I say in this video, get you a secure credit card starting off with your credit. And you, go, you take whatever route you want to go from there. You feel me? But that's you no, know, I, I think I'm going to cover the logistics. Like I said, experience is the number one app I think you should invest in. It tell you, it tell you um, when your stuff's a bit on the dark web. It tell you about any inquiries. Like, it tell you, and it's constantly updated. People be like, oh, Captain, one free. You just keep doing that. And it, I pay my baby. It's not constantly updated. Experience is constantly updated. Somebody pull your credit card. I mean, pull your own credit right now. It's going to send you an email right now. Like, there's no... You know, it's no just. And it show you all three. I forgot to say that. Experience show you all three. So you know in terms of credit, you know it's three different types of credit. You know, experience, all that. You know what I'm saying? It's three different types. I ain't gonna get on that right now. But it's three different types. It show you all three. It show you what your credit look like if you apply for a car, what your credit look like if you play for, apply for a house. Like, it show you all them things. So, you know, you just gotta keep all that in mind and understand it. I'm trying to give y'all as much information. I can't tell you as much stuff. This is stuff that I started out with that I you know I figured out. So I'm just trying to drop as many gems as I can on here. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm gonna pretty much wrap that up for here. You already know. Like the video if you done made it this far. If you done made it this far, I appreciate you. Drop a comment. Like the video. 
you already know to hit the sub button. I don't press y'all about hitting the sub button because you either gonna hit it or you ain't. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get every dollar. Every dollar that we can, but realize dollars ain't worth nothing if you don't got no credit. You feel your credit say more about you than what that money doing. Your pocket ain't gonna cap to you. But you already know. Like the video. Till next time. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I told a bitch I'm him. Quit playing. Tryna ride with a boss. What bitch get in?